literally tomorrow morning i'm probably gonna wake up and it's gonna look like this unless i have like really intense sex later If you have not been to my channel before my name is Kayla Leah and if you have been to my channel before hi welcome back I make mainly beauty related videos and self-care videos so if you're interested in more go ahead and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you get notified whenever I post new videos also follow me on Instagram that is the social media platform that I am the most active on besides YouTube of course if you have not seen my last video that was my short hair care and styling routine go ahead and check that out first of all I'm gonna put it here somewhere um, in that video I did ask if anyone wanted to see any in-depth reviews of any of the products that I did use and I did get asked about this lovely 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 tool right here this is the Revlon one step hair volumizing dryer I believe that is the like official name so basically this tool was designed to give you that blowout look at home without needing to go to the salon Obviously, we have seen many beautiful, beautiful women try this tool on their long, luxurious locks, but does it work on us beautiful women that have short, voluminous locks? <laughs> well, I can tell you right now that I have been using this tool pretty consistently for at least two months now, and I do have my opinions on it, but I will get on that at the end of the video after we try it on our hair right here right now so I did get my hair recently done again um, we did bleach it some more if you can tell it is a lot lighter from my last video so I have not used it since I lightened my hair again so this is gonna be somewhat of a first impressions when it comes to color treated hair my natural hair is curly wavy but again i did just bleach it like literally a few days ago so that is going to affect obviously my curl texture that's why you see that my curls are kind of non-existent right now but they will probably be back in about a month or two after some you know intense hair masks um that i use <laughs> i just got out of the shower and we are going to go ahead, plug this little tool in, and we're going to put it to the test because all the short hair babes want to know the truth. Okay, before we put heat on our beautiful locks, we have to protect our locks, obviously. So I'm going to go ahead and use my quick drying thermal spray from OGX. And I like to use it by spraying it in my hands and rubbing it in and applying it all over my hair, starting from the middle to the ends. Okay, the next product that I am gonna put in my hair is the Rejuva Bees by Monet. This is basically a split end mender. I always put this in my hair whether I am going to use the Revlon brush or not. Um, I do feel like it does help with my split ends. So yeah, I just start at the middle of my hair and go to the ends. This is the type of product that you don't have to put in your, like on your entire head. It's only meant for your ends. So. The last thing I'm gonna put in my hair is for frizz control. So this is the Kristen S Weightless Shine Working Serum for all hair types. So I only really need like one to two pumps of that because it does give me like a pretty generous amount when I first squirt it out. Dirty minds out there. Calmate, por favor. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in my hair. All right, and then I am gonna use a wet brush. Ooh, hello. 
I am going to use a wet brush um, on my hair to kind of comb everything through. It's very important to use either a brush that's designed for wet hair or a wide tooth comb to brush through your wet hair because if you use a normal brush, you're going to break your ends off and you're going to be very, very upset. So definitely be mindful of the type of brush you use on your hair, please. This is the brush right here. As you can see, it is a chunky little thing. Um, it does have three settings, cool, low, and high. Low is obviously meant for, you know, color treated hair, finer hair, hair that really doesn't need that much intense heat. I'm probably going to be using that setting mostly today. And then there is high for coarser hair. Um, I do have coarse hair, but I don't want to damage my hair too much today because it's been damaged enough in the past week. I'm probably going to go between low and high today to be completely honest, but I'm going to try to stick to the low. The cooling setting is for locking in whatever style you are trying to achieve. It's going to quickly cool down the strand of hair, making that style permanent. So it's really cool that it comes with that setting. Bristles are, you know, your everyday like brush bristles with the soft bristles coating them. Um, so that's really cool it's kind of like you're literally getting everything in one with this tool everything in one obviously when you go to the hair salon you'll see the hairstylists use like a brush or like a hair drying brush along with whatever blow dryer they are using so it's kind of cool that this comes all in one and it does have a pretty lengthy cord which is kind of nice um so you don't have to be like stuck to the wall when you're doing your hair I'm going to go ahead and get my lowest section ready and prepped. I like to comb through the hair I'm about to dry, um, just to make sure there's no knots prior to getting started. I do pick up rather um, small sections as I use this. But again, I have very short hair right now, and to be completely honest, literally like this whole section can grab on to the hair, um, or to the brush, I'm sorry. So it's honestly very easy with short hair, I'm not even gonna lie. I have never used this when I had long hair, so I don't even know, you know, the experience of using this with long hair. Um, but I will say with short hair, it is a very quick process, which is kind of cool. Um, it definitely saves you time in the morning or at night whenever you do your hair. We're just gonna go ahead and get started. I guess I'm just gonna run this through my hair. So, let's do it. So you'll notice that I am picking up relatively small sections around my head and just working the dryer through. It does take two to three times for me to actually get the whole strand completely dry but that's why the thinner the better when it comes to sectioning off your hair The direction that you face the brush is completely up to you. I like to turn the hair inwards because I just like that look, but you can obviously do outwards, more curls. If you have longer hair, it's completely up to you. You'll see here I always save the back portion of my hair for last because I want to ensure that the entire back of my hair is straight and there aren't any straggling curls. So I am all done. I did time myself. It did take roughly like 15 to 20 minutes for me to finish. 
um, which is longer than um, it used to take me before, <laughs> look at my bangs, before I re-dyed my hair, which I expected because when you do bleach your hair, it does make your hair more porous, which means it's going to latch on to moisture for much longer. Um, so I was expecting for the drying process to be a little bit longer before I bleached my hair again. It only took like 10 to 15 minutes. Um, so that's just to give you a ballpark time of how long it took me to get this look. All right, so I didn't go in with a straightener just so you guys could see exactly um, what it did by itself. I would obviously go in with a straightener to fix my bangs. I didn't do that right now just so you guys could see, you know, the actual results of the hair. Now, for my opinion about this lovely tool. I would honestly say there are pros and cons to this tool when it comes to short hair. Obviously, blowouts are meant for women who do have long hair. That is, you know, the whole look of a blowout. It's like that long, voluminous, somewhat curly hair. Um, and that's what this is designed for. Big barrel with the chunky design, it would be a little bit easier to use this on long hair. Um, and I have seen it been used on long hair and it always comes out beautiful. Not that this isn't, but obviously this wasn't made, at least I don't think it was made for short hair and this is why I think that. So I do wish that this tool came with the option of switching the barrels. Um, I do have bangs. I would love for there to be like a really, really tiny barrel so that you can actually go in and blow dry your bangs or your fringe or your curtain bangs or whatever you got going on without having to go back in with a flat iron later on because I do have to do that with this tool. Another thing to think about because it has such a chunky design, it is a little bit heavier than a normal hair dryer is and definitely heavier than a straightener is. If you do have short hair and you're watching this, um, your arms are definitely up here the entire time. That doesn't really bother me personally because I am pretty fit. So it doesn't really bother my arms that much, but I can see how it would be a little bit heavy and like strenuous for someone who doesn't work out or who isn't used to lifting heavy objects. Um, so that's something to think about. Also, this thing gets really, 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 really hot, let me tell you. And because your hair is shorter, because my hair is shorter, it's a lot closer to your scalp, it's a lot closer to your neck while you're styling. You feel the heat, you definitely feel the heat. So that is another reason why I like to switch between the lower setting and the higher setting pretty regularly. As you saw while I was styling my hair, I was switching it on and off, I had to give it breaks, I had to switch between low and high, um, and that's, very usual for me. I always have to do that when I use this um, because it gets really hot and you can definitely feel it like on your neck um, and on your hands. So those are probably all of the cons I have with this and short hair. Now for the pros. I have very coarse slash oddly fine hair. <laughs> My hair type's really weird. Um, but my entire life it's always taken me a pretty lengthy amount of time to style my hair because of the texture um, even when I used to straighten my hair when I was younger it would literally take me like an hour I like to find tools that are gonna cut that time pretty much in half if not less so that is definitely a pro with this it only took me like 15 minutes and I really don't have to go over my hair with like a straightener at all Yes, I look like someone's auntie with it styled like this. Do I care? No, I like it. The only thing, obviously, that I do have to fix my bangs. That's something that I have to fix. But other than that, it's pretty much ready to go. Like, I can just go out like this. You know what I mean? So I like that about this tool. It's very quick. It's very easy. It's literally a two-in-one. I would even say three-in-one because it has a brush and, like, 
obviously you barely saw me pick up my actual brush so that's something that's really cool about this I would say another pro is the fact that it leaves your hair looking so shiny and who doesn't like that honestly you know the shinier the better um, it makes it look healthy it doesn't feel you know damaged it feels really good I'm obviously gonna put serum in it just to keep it straight but overall it does do what it says it's gonna do the last pro that I know of that you probably aren't gonna see in this video but that I know of just from using this tool for a few months is the style does last overnight you know the struggle of taking the time to style your hair the night before to save you time in the morning and then you wake up and your either your hair is just frizzy again because you were sweating in the night or you know you see your little curls coming back up from this this area is a problem area i do sweat at night um, and when I wake up, sometimes it just doesn't look the same. And with this, literally tomorrow morning, I'm probably gonna wake up and it's gonna look like this, unless I have like really intense sex later. Other than that, it's probably gonna look exactly like this. What would I rate this tool? I would give it a solid seven out of 10 for short hair. I have never used it on long hair, so I cannot give it a fair rating. And do I think that you need this? I definitely think a lot of girls would appreciate this tool. I do think it's something that you should add to your hairstyling um, collection. I love that I have this now. It's a quick option and it's an efficient option. So I would definitely say that if you don't have this tool, definitely get it. Plus, I'm pretty sure it's like $50 on Ulta. I'm pretty sure you can get it at like, I don't even know, does Walmart sell this? If you know if Walmart sells this, put it down below. I know that Target sells it. For the price you're paying and the results you're getting, I do think this is definitely cost efficient because if it's only $50, think about it. When you go to the salon to get your hair done, it's gonna be at least like 75 to 150. So you're definitely saving the time and the money and the effort of going to the salon with this tool. That is all for this video today. You guys got the tea. I was very honest. Um, if you have this tool, definitely let me know down below. And if you have short hair and you have this tool, let me know down below and tell me if you like it. Tell me if you agree with my rating or not. Other than that, thank you for watching my video today. Subscribe down below. Like if you like this video. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.